All right, folks, welcome back. So off camera, I did a little bit more base cleanup, and I've actually improved our metal processing to make it fully automated. Um, well, at least in terms of, in terms of output. What I've done here is I've got a independent tank set up for each of the different types of metals we're getting. Um, just so I could grab a bucket of the liquid and kind of restrict what can flow through to these different um, casting basins. You've seen me make all these different bits and pieces on camera before, so I didn't think it was terribly necessary um, to show it again. I just, it's just the setup to say, you know what, as we get the liquid, make, you know, whatever we melt down, once we get a block's worth, make the block, extract it, mm -hmm. and throw it into our chest here. So that way I can grab any of these pieces we get from our um processing of different goods and not worry about handling them the other thing i did is because i was actually developing a backlog on materials um to process is i increased the size of the smeltery so you've seen me make grout before and brick and um all of that good stuff uh converting it to uh, seared brick and whatnot so again i felt that was just better to do off camera and from the drain, all that does is automatically output to our um, tanks out here. So we're kind of good to go right there. And the last piece I'm going to do here is fill in our half slabs around and about. Uh, kitty cat's down here today. Um... The next thing I did off camera is I had to put in a barrel collection for our different rubber tree farm stuff because it was backlogging in a hurry. I started upgrading the barrels as well as we get materials. And the fourth piece is our added um, automated obsidian production. I found that we could directly pump in lava, so I made another uh, and water into these vats and just extracted materials. So made an aqueous accumulator tied into our lava production and we've got automated obsidian made it much faster for making all those tanks that take obsidian rather than doing it manually and that is where we left off so what I wanted to do now that we got materials coming I'm still on the route for applied energistics I made a bunch of the plastic and stuff offline um, but I wanted to take a look through our quest book to see if we've completed anything because there's a whole lot of quests here that um, we're coming up on very quickly to finish. You also notice I'm carrying around a bow and arrow. I've started seeing wisps spawning around and about. Um, which is kind of dangerous. So, let's go into our quest log. And we've got... Uh, let's see here. So we need to make... Oh, we could do this quickly. We're going to see how many we can knock out this episode. Because we we did do a lot of infrastructure. Oh, and uh, you'll notice because we have obsidian, I started making obsidian pressure plates so I can run through these gates a little more quickly now. So let's go check on our egg production. Oh, I hear another wisp coming. Oh, we got a mature plant. Let's uh, grab it and replant. Ender pearls is ender pearls. Um. You also noticed I upgraded our uh, Wisp Essence Chest to Iron. We'll go to Gold eventually if we need it. But the only things we're going to get in there, it looks like, are Essence and Trophies given time. Our Egg Chest is doing quite well. So let's go ahead and do that. And what do we need for Squid Eggs? Uh... Fishing pole. Sticks and string. So, let's grab a stack of string. Do I have any timber on me? Not enough. Alright, back to the mainland. you got to watch out for these wisps, though. Occasionally they spawn somewhere around here. And they zap and they're deadly. You pretty much run and hide if you see a wisp. Alright, so crafting table here. 
to make up a bunch of sticks. And fishing poles to follow. Oh boy, that might have been a few too many. Ha! Whoops. That's the way it goes sometimes, Head and West. Oh, what was that? Woven cotton, huh? Um, squid egg? Really? This is kind of an annoying way to go about making an egg. But if we make the one, we complete the quest. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Did I really get just enough? Or am I one short? Always one short. Grr. Let's go make one more. Just so we can use up all... Oh, you know, I bet you I got a fishing pole in our... Fishing pole in our tools chest here. I can use up. Inside. I've slowly been migrating all of these, um... Inside chests outside with the good stuff. The... Random weird things. I'm still gonna keep inside for now. Till we know what they're for. Uh, let's see. Ender pearls go into our gems chest out here. So gems is now over here. You'll notice I cleared out this main... Or, or this space where we had the other chest storage earlier. And now we got two... Squid egg sacks. Let's make sure we can claim the reward. Uh, pick one. I will go with bag number three. To see what we get. And now we can do deep, go deeper. Oh boy. We gotta make an auto brewer, huh? We'll come back to that one in a minute. Let's go ahead and spawn a squid and kill it. Get the goodies. Shall we? Ink sacks are ink sacks for now. We can always make another squid later if we have to. I also want to take a look at the storage quest and the liquids quest because we're getting to that point now. Which is fairly useful. So we got uh, ink sacks for later. Raw squid. String can stay here. A safari net. And... Oh, we got four hearts now. Let's make another live for ourselves. Always add the lives when you can. Here we go. Five lives remaining. Woo -hoo. And what do we get? Another boat. I got more boats. Okay. Back to questing. Let's keep knocking these suckers out. There might be a handful we can complete here. So auto brewing will have to come back. We're almost done with this whole section. Now we're at 83%. Go with the flow. We've crafted a portable tank, a tank. Uh, we need a fluid tank and a drum. Okay. And drums from extra. Okay, so let's make a fluid tank. What do we need for these guys? I want to keep running quests here. We need copper, wood, and glass, huh? I think we have every bit of that. And let me go grab a stack of wood here. In the meantime, we're still collecting uh, stuff. Oh, that was the um, other thing you'll see I've done. Is I've slowly built up our resources offline and I put barrels around. So as we were processing things, we were getting these kind of random bits of coal and bone meal and um, thumb crafty type stuff, etc. I put it into barrels just for storage um, and ease of sorting. And 
and let's go make our tank here. So we'll make one of each of these and just throw them on the side. There we go. And then I need a drum. I think these are fairly iron intensive. Weighted pressure plate. So we're going to need a handful of iron here. So we got some iron blocks ready to go. So we can, you know, take out a handful of stuff and... Whoa. Really? He ran up and love tapped me and ran across the map the other way. Wow, that one was nasty. Let's uh, go hide in our house here and craft this while we heal. Little zombie nightmares. Oh, a miniature heart, we'll put that away for later. And let's see, iron. So I think we needed two of these guys. And what do we need? A cauldron. And like so. Next quest done. We'll go with the rightmost bag. That seems like it's been treating us absolutely terribly. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a full heart out of it. Let's eat that up. Okay. And then I'm going to put the drum and the fluid tanks in the bag. Reward bag number one was glowstone nooks. Reward bag number two was shimmer leaf and cinder pearls. Okay, magic flowers from when we get something into Thomcraft here. We'll put that junk on the side for right now. This is a good a spot as any in here. All right, what do we have next? Fluid management. Yeah, so this is a applied energistics. We're done on that path for right now. Let's go with bees and trees, open. No, we're not going that path just yet. For the hoarding, I thought we might. Two, yeah, look at this. Two quests available for completion. One with the automated mining. Oh yeah. Um. I pointed at the void and it will work better if it is at least at level Y128 plus. It requires at least one precharger. One precharger can use up to 500 RF per tick. We're nowhere near that. Vendor Core will receive a piece of or re require a piece of Iridium War, which you can find very, very rarely in the Nether, or as an output from a laser drill. The Ender Core will remove all ores in the area outlined by fences. Okay, so we're not ready for that. Uh, storage Wars. We made this guy. Oh, we can claim it. We did that a long time ago and never claimed it, apparently. Another life. Reward bag. Give me something good. Pretty please. More arrows. Okay. We can live with that. Wait, no. These are... Inf oh, infinity arrows. I don't know what that's all about. So we'll put that away for now. Let's go back and massive storage. Uh, nope. So... What's the unclean reward? So, we need to make... Whoa, what was this? A two billion of a single item block. What you use that two billion cobble for is up to you. <laughs> Okay, what does it take to make a deep storage? 
We should probably look. Oh, I'm not going there yet. See, this is three unlocked quests. I think this is kind of weird. One, two. So we need, this looks like applied energetic, so I will have to get more thermal expansion going for that. We got, you're a wizard, Steve. One quest available, so we need a Thaumonomicon and a sacred, Sacrificial Knife. Uh, life Essence to cast spells and create powerful artifacts. Starts with a bookshelf. Right click your wand in a bookshelf. Yeah. And that's a manual submit. So let's see if we can do. Oh, we gotta make a date night time. Oh, monsters nearby, huh? Dude, go away, Enderpunk. I wanna make it daytime. Burn them all up. Okay, so. Wow. We're definitely a little ways off here. Let's see. We're going to need. And what was the next thing in. Hell's Kitchen. This one. We can make, we can make this stuff, I think. Uh. We'll go down the Hell's Kitchen route next here. Let's make sure we do not have a punks over here. Look at all the mobs that spawned in that short period. Angry zombie. Come on, keep burning, man. It's daylight. Burn. And then I see a skeleton over there. We'll snipe him from afar. Okay, there's a few of them apparently. There's another one I didn't see. Get away from there. So where was the guy that just sniped at us? Wow. All right, so just finished up killing those guys, and um, what were we working on here before I got distracted? We need to make a juicer, a bakeware, and a mixing bowl. Try and get a few of these quests done every time. So the juicer we can do no problem. I think I got stone in here. And like that. Specific order. Juicer. Bakeware. Bricks or glass, huh? Well, I got glass on me. Let's do it. And a mixing bowl. And this one is wooden stick, so oh, very easy. Did I invert that? Yep. Let's claim a... Oh, juicing. A task... Okay, so you're starving. No, not really. I took care of stuff. Perhaps better foods might last longer and fill you up faster. There are several cooking implements for processing raw ingredients into components that can be combined into better quality meals. Using a juicer with some apples will increase the amount of hunger recovered when eating. So make some... Make a juicer. Okay. Oh, using a juicer with some apples. Okay. What is this, a block we place in the world? Yeah, we 
yet another skeleton over there trying to snipe. I really gotta do something about these mobs spawning here. There's just way too many of them. Uh, apples. Where are my apples being stored? Here we go. And let's look up apple juice. Apple juice. Okay. That ought to be ten. Two more. Well, let's use it up. Oh, that's pretty nifty. Oh, we got the well-fed bonus, so that makes it last longer. Okay. Oh, wait, I got to submit ton of those. Ha! Whoops. Interesting. Okay, we got a reward bag and half a heart. Let's see what we got. Anything good? Oh, flowers. Cobwebs. Okay, let's put this stuff away. What will be nice is when we get a couple more autonomous activators set up and feeding our network here. So that'll give us dyes and things. Put the zombie flesh in there for now. And the heart. And you know what? I'm going to use up these ten apples quickly. Seems kind of fun. Give us well... So what I might do between before episodes here is just consume like a stack of apples. If that keeps adding to our time. Save the zombie brains for later. Okay, so next up is... Further meals require more sophisticated cookware. Look up meal in any eye to see the many foods you can make. Pots and pans. We need a cutting board, a skillet, a mortar, and a pot. Okay, so a cutting board. That thing. We can do that straight away. Uh, really? Out of wood again. Okay. This is why I would love Applied Energistic setup. Because then I think we can just craft all this stuff in relative safety. There we go. Take you inside. And I need... Yeah, we'll just do that for now. Cutting board. And I think a skillet was in there. Skillet. We can do that too. What else was it? Mortar and pedestal and a pot. So we're going to need a mortar. Pedestal. And a pot. Look like that. And claim to reward. We'll take another life. Absolutely. I wonder what the max lives you can finish with this. If anyone knows, that'd be cool. We might try to do that on uh, something. Spice it up. Water and milk can be refined into various components that can be further refined into cheese, butter, and cream. A task where the player can hand in items or fluids. One can also use the quest delivery system to submit items and fluids. Fresh water, fresh milk. What? 
All right, let's start from the left. Salt. I know I've got around. Where was I getting it from? I might actually need to do mining for that, I'm thinking. With the laser mining system. Maybe we're toast right here. Yep. Okay. So the laser system is going to be somewhere in our list. Holy cow. All right. Back to Skyblock. So we need a po two potions of regeneration and two potions of healing. Oh, wait. This, is, this isn't a brewing stand. Oh, that's what we collect. Your friendly mat... The nether has many ores and other resources you can collect. It is, however, inhabited by many... Your friendly map creator recommends large numbers of potions if you plan to head into the depths. You should really look to visit at least once to fully experience the joys of this map. Absolutely. But let's go ahead and make the auto brewer. See what this thing takes. So really, this is all about building up resources. And all these tools I'm going to put into our tools chest, actually. I should probably have one just dedicated to cookware, but... Actually, yeah. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. We'll put it there. And we got a bag I never opened. What do we get? Ooh, we got a jaded... Oh, we got jaded beast. Very cool. I forget what them guys do, but I know it's something cool. Jaded. Oh, we don't have bees in this version of NEI. Okay, auto brewer. What do we need for this? Auto. Dash brewer. So we need a blaze rod. Oh, really? Did my soul sand get me any blaze rods? Them skeletons are killing me, man. That tree farm, what I should have done is made that tree farm about 28 blocks high. So anything that runs off of it instant dies. What are you going to do, though? Alright, so. What do we get here? Nothing too spectacular. Lots of another wart. Gas here so I can do... Spawner. That's not terrible to make. We can do that in, a, in relatively short order. Uh... Man. I'm kind of wondering where to go next here. Let's keep going on uh, Applied Energistics, I guess. So the other thing I've got to do here... Oh, wait, wait, Blaze. Can I make a Blaze egg? Or any of this stuff? I have bees. Bees can be a way of getting resources without having to mine or process stone. Looking for time uh, to get started. Da 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 da. Squeeze seeds or nuts to obtain seed oil. 
Combine a hay bale and some string to make an artificial hive. Okay. Um. Wow. I say we just go straight up for the applied energetic storage. Laser. The laser drill might also be nice, depending what we need. So we're going to need, oh, I could do a red, an energy cell. Hardened. So we got all the stuff. So we need a, let's see. So we're going to need a fluid, a magma crucible, a fluid transposer. All our stuff. And for now, I'm going to get our hardened energy cell so we can start filling it. And put it, we'll just bring our setup over to here as we need. Redstone, we're still kind of light on. How are we doing on emeralds and diamonds? Oh, look at that. Beauty. Okay, flint, hole, redstone. Let's take our dusts and put those for processing. As it were. Redstone, glowstone goes into here. I think I put a thing. Because we haven't needed it yet. Flint goes over to here. We're going to have tons of that before long. Coal is over there. So we're going to need loads of RF production. Wow, this is... This is a map of months in the making. <laughs> Alright, let's put our bucket away. We don't need that right now. So I think for I think for purposes of this map, I'm almost tempted to expand our lava tank to the sky just so we keep building up and I can turn on massive power when we need it. Because we will run out at some point. Well, let's see here. I'll take as much of this as we can and put it all away. Okay, let's go through here, get you guys taken care of, blaze powder, item and fluid ducts can go into our thing, this will melt down, whoops, that should have went away, two more here. What's nice is it's melting. Oh, why are we? Oh, ha! Huh. That lever was actually doing something. Let's just put a servo into here. I've made loads of servos now. So it's just as easy to do that. Uh, lapis can go to here. That one can go there. We'll put stone in, up in the glass chest for now. I kind of feel like we should cook up some more glass straight away. So, we're slowly running out of gravel, which is good. Let's get this guy all 
cooked up. So yes, I made another bank of furnaces here just because cooking speed is cooking speed. And more seared bricks for things. More rubber is always a good thing. And let's do that. More plastic. That's what we use when we get when we get a full row of plastic. Then we can actually make um, stuff. We because it takes nine pieces of plastic to make a silicon here. So and glass, we need more. We always are going to need more. Lever goes into our tools chest. Okay, now our quest book can go away before we lose it. So we're going to need thermal expansion machines. Gold, iron. A lot of iron again, apparently. And glass. So iron is a sore spot. And the only thing we got to watch is that our pipes don't molt an Envar. Envar I might not actually have into the system here. So that's nickel. Oh, you know what? We gotta we gotta add a tank. Uh, we need those tank, and we'll do that after we sleep the night away. So you guys can see how I'm adding in a tank here into the processing. Not exactly what I had in mind. There we go. Make it daytime. Alright, so we're going to need those guys. Let's, uh... Let me see here. We're going to go right here with this one. This molten Envar is holding us back. And I'm going to need a bucket for sure. Because what I, what I want to do here is make sure we don't cross the fluid streams ever. Do I have a casting basin ready to go? That's my other question. I may or may not. We'll make one. Oh, there's all that iron I needed. <laughs> here we go. Now I can hop up here. Like so. I grab a bucket of molten Envar. I put in our uh, servo. Probably reach it better from down here. And then I can say whitelist molten Envar and throw the bucket of liquid back in so we don't waste. And now I want to put the Let's see. I need to get a thing up on top here. Oops. Oh, even in the Electrum one, I'm not doing it. I need two of these. Let me get another casting basin. Here we go. Put that up. I'm going to get some cobble just so we can hop up and do the work. Here we go. So now I can run underneath anytime we got to do this stuff. Oh, you underpunk. Go away. I didn't want to mess with you right now. And we'll put one here. One here for just a minute. So here comes our basins and fluid duct. Now if you put in the servo first, 
do I have a that one's whitelisted too. Uh, then we can just pump it out into into the basins. You'll notice they fill up and make blocks. And the last piece we want is some item ducting. We're going to need more. Tin and iron. Let's just make a or excuse me, tin and lead. Make a handful of it here with the tin we got out. That wasn't tin. Okay. Like so. And we're starting to get a little bit of lag built up in this world. Oddly enough. And then we just need a free hand to turn them on. And the blocks will start popping down. Eventually what I might do is push this into the realm of... Um, barrels. So just so we can see all the blocks we got ahead of time. I'll keep figuring out too as we get more liquids and get backlog with things. So you can see how much liquid is in here right now. What are we stuck on? Electrum should be going. Right? Bolts and Electrum. Oh, iron there goes and flipped. And you can see like iron's going to fill up down here. It'll turn into a block. It's backlogging into iron in there just to clear the pipes in a hurry. So, and account for our cooling time. And, when the tank's empty, we're good. It's got lead, must have went through. Yep, lead is going to backlog. As we need. Molten platinum, here's platinum. It's kind of neat to watch this whole system go. And it's building up for us. Iron still is kind of a weak spot. And I'll keep this other chest with the unprocessed stuff here. I have a feeling bronze might back up blog us. Molten aluminum brass. Uh, boy. I'm running out of tank room. Oh, what's going on up here? So that tank is in the wrong spot. We got aluminum brass in there. I can totally go off this edge. And that still is me needing to be smart about what goes into places. Okay. So that's whitelisting molten aluminum brass. Do it to it. Come on. I don't know what we're backlogged on here. Tank? Well... Hmm. Is there like different IDs to this or what? Did I click it wrong? Here we go. I could always uh, break the tank and redo it.
You know what? Let me um let me relog quickly here. I don't know why we're at such bad FPS. It's kind of odd to me. One of these systems is clearly not like the rest. It's probably all these trees falling all over the place. Why are we spewing them out all over the ground? I should put some miscellaneous vacuum hoppers around. And holy cow, do we use our food. So is this like... Why is it doing it like that? I'm going to have to go up on top and take a look at that thing. Maybe we need an iron upgrade? But I still got one around? Floating around? Maybe? Piece of iron, please. Or eight, eight pieces. And I'll need a piece of wood. Maybe that chest has to be at the back. I don't know. Something funny's going on here, though. We gotta fix it. Cause I, all the that's entity lag right there. I don't know what's going on. Go away. Let's turn that thing off for right now. And I gotta go make it daytime. Maybe I need two chests worth of processing? Or it works best at the back of the chest, perhaps? Come on. No mobs up there, pretty please. But that's what's causing all the lag at the moment. I think. I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and make a chest here, or a crafting table and a chest. And I can try pumping out the stuff on the side. Here we go. Let's get back connected, do like so. Uh, yep. Let's leap right to there. And we'll do this, and this, and this. Then I need some servos. To do like so. And like so. And like that, and like that. Let's see if we can heat things up here. Just to empty chests faster. I think that one chest is at the back is do is getting priority. So we'll put the um iron one back there. In favor. And 
put this guy here as a buffer. There we go. Now we're going to gain it a faster clip. And for our sludge stuff, we're probably overloaded. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. See if this improves our frame rate a lot. Yeah, look at that. We're back over 20 again. As the entities disappear, that'll just help things. Um, and what I'd love to be able to do is not have to sieve for iron in that, but about the only reason we need a laser drill at this point is to see what we can get in the overworld. All right, energy cell next. So I'm going to need a block of redstone. Uh, precious gems are here. So redstone we're getting low on again, sadly. And then we're going to need, like, we're going to need some copper, some glass. some gold let's see what we need oh we need some lead clearly electrum we happen to have a lot of we'll also have to check our fluid prep Stone energy cell. Let's get some invar and upgrade that sucker. Should just be like that, right? Maybe it just doesn't shift click cleanly. And for redstone. We need a fluid transposer. So we'll work on that set of machinery and uh, see what we can do. In the meantime, I'm going to want that machinery back at my place here. So let's just put our leadstone energy, or our hardened energy cell down to charge for ourselves. And max output is 400. And that way we've got stuff to power machinery when we need it. So now I'm going to need a Magma Crucible. Nether Brick. So we were getting Nether Rack out of this. That I did see. At one point. Not sure what I did with it. Let me grab a handful more sand here. As much as we can carry. And get that processing again. And I will take uh, the nether quartz back and away. That's a lot of it, actually. <laughs> a whole lot. In a hurry. Do we have any barrels left? Because I might start putting nether quartz into that. Good a spot as any. Okay. Oh, an obsidian we're putting down yonder. Oh, see, we're starting to lose on the energy now. Or in the lava. That's pretty good. So that energy cell is really draining our engines. That's okay. Boy. Someplace I know I had another rack. 
Maybe inside? Anyway, folks, this episode is starting to get to the epic level. So, for next time, I will work on building up the set of materials we need. And we'll do the run of machinery here. You guys have all seen, maybe I'll even do that offline. Because you guys have seen pulverizers and all the basic thermal expansion stuff built a million times. And we'll go from there. Until then, thanks.